Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Diamond Redo and last part we took on the whole Veston City Gym. We took on the uh, Karate Quad, Black Belt Quad, uh, Black Belt dudes, the four of them, that's why I said Quad I guess. And they were pretty easy, but Maylene actually gave us a little trouble, you know? And she was pretty tough. <laughs> that's cause I'm, I haven't done any, I haven't done any off screen training at all through this project so far, and these are my levels up to this point. As you can see Inferno's up to level, uh, up to the front, I mean, but yeah, uh, Empire's level 26, Jetta's level 26, and just evolve in the last part, too, by the way, level 26. Bronze is level 26, Rose is level 26, and then Karen's at level 29, because Karen got a lot of experience in that gym. Like, K Karen is the one who carried the team through the gym and myself, because Karen was just on fire and, you know, really effective in the gym. So yeah, I have Inferno up front, and then we also talked to Ma Dawn, and she um, wants us to help her get her Pokedex back from the Team Galactic Grunts right here. It took him. It took it from her, I guess you could say. Not took him. I don't know why that came from. Took him? I don't know. Okay, hey, St uh, hi Steven. Please, can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex back, so Team Galactic found it. Now they want to give it back. Please, I need your help. T team up and battle with me. Yes, of course. Uh, you and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon? United like this, our dream team has no chance of losing. You got that right. I'm not what I'm not letting these bad people get away with their dirty deeds. And by the way, this will probably be a short part. So uh yeah. By short I mean like probably ten minutes or less or something like that. I don't know. It depends on how fast we get through it. But I plan on this part being very short. So beautify and a dust dark. So I made the good choice of having my fire type up front. So that's good. So she has a Clefairy, okay. Her Clefairy only use like Metronome and Gravity, which really don't help because Gravity, well Metronome, it's like rolling the dice on a Pokemon move, but Gravity, it like, it makes it so like, uh, Dust, well Dust Ox is Bug and Poison, I believe, so be it only affects Beautify, and then after that it doesn't affect any other Pokemon because I don't think they're Flying types, but like, um, with the Gravity, it makes it so like, Ground type moves will be uh, effective on Flying type Pokemon after its use for like five turns or something like that but we i don't have any ground type moves really and it's really, ground type moves are scarce really at this point of the game still honestly um i don't unless you found the dig tm which i don't which actually hasn't come up yet so ground type moves are scarce so keep that in mind i want to get rid of the dust ox first oh but the dust ox probably okay good it needs to protect usually that dust ox has protect and it uses it like the first turn so yeah Put in the red, so that's good. Gust, okay. It's gonna be super effective on Inferno, okay. But yeah, oh man, it did half. Oh shoot, that's we gotta get rid of the beautify. The beautify is more of a. They both have They both have gust. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on, Kofi, help me out here. No, that's not gonna help. That is not gonna help putting putting the beautify on the ground so it can affect it with the ground type moves. Why can't you use double slap or something? Because I know you have double slap or something like that. Okay, I gotta get rid of one of them, but one of them is still gonna knock Inferno out. So I'm gonna have to just knock out the Beautify and hope that the Clefairy is faster than that Dustox. Because I know this Fireball should knock out the Beautify. There we go. Okay. That's cool. I don't want Inferno to faint, but he's in a sticky situation right now. Okay, again, he's Moonlight. Okay, good. Good, yeah, heal up yourself. That's some weird music to it when it when it when you use moonlight. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is hopefully I'm gonna be faster than it and I'm gonna use flame wheel on it. But let's see. Iron head. You got iron head from that from Metro Mom. Okay, that's cool. In fact, just to be safe, I'm gonna heal. So let's see. Status healers, no not status healers, HP restore. Super potions, okay. I'm gonna just heal up Inferno. Because I don't want Inferno to faint in this battle. Do a slash on us, okay. Yeah, okay. Side beam, oh my gosh, just knock out the dust ox. I could have knocked out the dust ox, but the slash would have knocked out Inferno. Okay, this isn't really... Okay, thank you for putting one to sleep. I don't care which one you put to sleep, actually. Yeah, you put the skunky to sleep. Okay, stunky. Stunky. I always say skunky for some reason. 
Okay, I'm, I didn't even go back to my bag. Uh, let's go to let's use flame wheel on dust stocks then. There we go. We attack first. Nice. So yeah, this is working out great. It is actually now that we have a handle on things. So that's nice. Inferno Grid level 27, awesome. Do I want to switch out is the question now, because, you know, Inferno gained a level. I'll have to see in a second. Minimize. I'll use Minimize to help with it. Yeah, because, wait, I've, I've been keeping the Kofari at perfect health all this whole battle, and I didn't, I didn't notice it didn't get targeted at all once. Not until, not until I just noticed it, you know. That was kind of cool. Let's go to um let's go to bronze one or let's go to bronze. Just to help out that crow gunk. Cause I know psychic type moves are four times super effective on crow gunks. Because they're poison and fighting types. Because Gunky is still this gunky is still asleep. Why would you use wake up slap to wake up uh for something you put to sleep? Kofari, is that the only attacking move other than metronome or something? Oh shoot, the revenge. Yeah, it's gonna be neutral effect if it's a critical hit. Okay, cool. Gravity return to normal. So that was like five turns. Yeah, I didn't count, but it's it felt like five turns, at least. Um, let's go for the extra sensory. Of course, you're gonna make it so like it's harder for Franz to hit Crow Gunk with extra sensory. Of course, that's what you're gonna do. Yet they still haven't targeted the Kofari yet. <laughs> I should I should get a reward for uh, I should get an achievement I should say uh, for keeping Kofari in perfect health up to this point. Although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep it in perfect health, but they keep on targeting my Pokemon, so it seems to be working on that. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use Confuse Ray on Stunk Stunky Stunky, yeah, and hopefully it'll hit. And then hopefully Kofari can wake up slap two more times to faint it, you know. Because I think it's, I think, uh, Stunky, Stunky is, um, half dark type. So, like, my, um, well, I could use, I could use Payback, I guess. I'll try to see. I don't, it'll, it won't do that much damage. And I've got three smoke screens. Uh, you know, Bronze has taken three smoke screens to the face. So that means that, uh, it's, you know, not able to hit it. But, like, as I said, that Kofi just took out the Stunky. So that was really cool. We got through the whole battle without Dawn's Pokemon getting hurt. That's never ever happened to me before in any playthrough of Pokemon Diamond. Pokemon Diamond at least. Or Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum. Because actually I can say for all three because... Wow, she didn't get hit at all. Dang. Dawn's Pokemon came out perfect. Except for like PP, it used PP and power, move, power points. But other than that, it didn't get hurt at all. Like status wise or HP wise. Yeah, okay, Grunt One says, Oh, that stinks. Our Pokemon are chumps. Uh, we should get new ones from headquarters. Uh, humph, uh, humph, 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 humph is what, uh, humph, I guess. Because, like, they're saying, when people say, huh, or humph, I don't know. Whatever. Who cares about some Pokedex anyways? I was trying to pronounce that word correctly. Uh, that Team Galactic's going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it, take your Pokedex. Those th those things we had in the warehouse are already been moved to the Pastoria city anyway. So we'll say, so we will say, you you will get your ways, or you'll get your ways, and run off like the grunts we are. Interesting. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the place, in the in the streets like they own the place? Stephen, thank you sincerely. If Professor One ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex, you, I would not, I, I don't want to think about that. So Steven, what are you going to do now? Are you thinking about going to Pest, I'm thinking about going to Pestoria City now. The Great Marsh is their home, the Great Marsh, there is home to many kinds of Pokemon. And he's, I think she asked if I wanted to collect all the gym badges or something, I may have skipped over it, but I don't know. Okay, so let's heal up our Pokemon. Really, only um, a couple of them. Okay, now that we got that done, I want to be running from Pokemon again. So let's put those up to the front, I guess. 
Yeah, that'll work. Actually, I want to put Jed up to the front, now that I think about it. Okay, cool. So let's go south of Elston City now. Into this transitional building. Uh, what, do we, what do you have to say? I think you're an uh, NPC that does something. Are you serious? Are you going to take on that two, 214? You're serious, aren't you? It's too bad. It's too badly chewed up and there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there is the Ruin Maniac guy you could check out. The, that guy has been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. Interesting. We might have to pay a visit to him, you know? But in the next part, because this is the, because I want to end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on Route, uh, what is this? Route 2, 214, of course. I just, I just, the guy just said it. So, this, so yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to eventually begin goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide. Wait, before you're in the part, I forgot to show you this. I don't know how, I don't know what, how I forgot. But if you go back in the uh, Galactic Warehouse and talk to this guy, well, there's the, well, I you can talk to him, but then there's a supported item you can get in here, which you see on screen right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What have we here? You are not Team Galactic, and you're a little kid to, and you're a little kid to boot. Those things we made with the energy we took from the Valley One Works are already in passed away city. Huh? That's not what this is about? Yeah. Oh, you just told me your plans or where they're at in more detail, saying them in Pastoria City and then that they were the energy you got from the Valley of Works. We got HGM25. I got to pick this up. I have totally forgot. So I apologize for that. And let's see here. I can teach that to Karen, actually. I plan on teaching that to Karen, yeah. Good flying type move, you know. It, it does predict your um, foe's next move because it's a two-turn move. But, um... It's still really good, I mean, and it gets us around places. I don't want to catch like a Starly and have it in my party all the time whenever I need to fly. When I can just top of my trusty Mercro and eventually become a Honchcrow. That's not for a while. And to put that in his perspective, I'll tell you this in a second actually, but let me just use fly on Karen. Yeah. Should we press fly? Which move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of, um. Nightshade, actually. Yeah, Nightshade. I don't really need Nightshade anymore. Okay. Yeah. Figure out how to use the Nightshade and learn fly. Okay, cool. So, like, for, to put that perspective, Karen won't be a Murkrow till it gets that item back there behind this door, which is a Dusk Stone. And Murkrows need d uh, one Dusk Stone to evolve the one Murkrow um, into Honchkrow. So, yeah, to put that in perspective, we're going to have to go play through the game and hopefully get the key to this door and finally open that door and then that item ball is a dusk stone to evolve Mercury. That's like, honestly, that's not to like after the sixth gym badge or something. Yeah, I think around there. Yeah. So that's going to be a while. We just got the third gym badge, which I'll actually show off right here actually just real quick. So now the um, bottom screen is on the big box. So yeah, if I can get there, there we go. Look at my badges, they're all rusty. Let me try to shine them up. Okay, it took about maybe two or three minutes, but I finally shined up all my three gym badges. So now we're headed for the fourth gym badge, which is in Pastoria City. So yeah. That's cool, I guess. So. We can- uh, I didn't mean to go back to my badge case, sorry. So we can go south again at Valston City for the VLCs this time. And also, with, um... Using using fly, you can actually fly to any city or town you've been to, and what means that you've been to it is that you've always tilled up the Pokemon Center once of that town or city. So uh, keep that in mind. So like, you know, you choose fly, and you can fly like all these places that are red or blue. But if it's grayed out, like Pastoria City is, you can't fly there yet because you have to be at the Pokemon Center and heal up there once, at least once. So if we're in, we're on route two six two fourteen. We're gonna go downwards. There's a big, there'll be the Verity Lakefront, or the Lower Lakefront, sorry. And then we go west and to Pastoria City. So there'll be a couple more parts till we get to Pastoria City, at least, honestly. We'll see how it goes, though. Let's see how fast we can get there. But yeah. So yeah, for real this time, this has been the end of my Pokemon 
Diamond we do walk the guide part and the next part will take on Route 214 and battle some trainers. So this has been so this has been Giant Gold again. I would like to mention again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond we do walk through guide.